Hello friends, welcome to my channel Block On. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the ultrasound guided supra-inguinal fascia iliaca compartment block or popularly known as the CFI block. The patient is placed supine with the lower limbs extended at hip and knee joints. A low frequency linear transducer is used to perform this block. A 50 to 80 millimeter short pebble ecogenic nerve block needle is preferred. A 22 or 23 gauge quinky spinal needle can be used as an alternative. Lower concentration of local anesthetic like 0.1% or 0.2% ropivacaine or 0.25% bupivacin is used for this block. I personally use 30 to 40 cc of local anesthetic with 4 to 8 milligram of dexamethasone as an adjuvant. I am going to share a simple scanning technique to perform CFI block. First, identify the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic tubercle on the side to be blocked. Then, draw a line connecting the two. This line corresponds to the inguinal ligament. You can also imagine this line instead of drawing. The midpoint of a high-frequency linear probe is placed perpendicular to the lateral end of the inguinal ligament, that is, over the anterior superior iliac spine. Then the probe is slit inferomedially along the inguinal ligament, maintaining the perpendicular relation. As you can see here, the anterior superior iliac spine, the pubic tubercle and the line joining these two points are drawn. The midpoint of a high frequency linear probe is placed perpendicular to this line over the anterior superior iliac spine. ASIS appears as a hyperechoic line casting an echoic shadow. Then the probe is slit inferomedially along the inguinal ligament maintaining the perpendicular relation. The next hyperechoic structure is anterior inferior iliac spine and the muscle above is iliacus muscle. You can see here the fascia covering the iliacus muscle and the deep circumflex iliac vessels above it. You can also identify the vascular structure with the color Doppler. If you slightly go orderly, you will be able to identify the sartorius muscle and on the cephalad side, the internal oblique muscle. These two and the fascia iliaca forms the typical bow tie or hourglass appearance. Once again, put the probe over the anterior superior iliac spine and slit inferomedially, maintaining the perpendicular relation. That's all. The needle is inserted in plane from caudal to cephalate direction and the tip is placed between the fascia iliaca and the iliosus muscle. The local anesthetic is deposited deep to the fascia iliaca and the deep circumflex iliac vessels. The local anesthetic open up the fascia iliaca compartment creating a typical layering out or unzippering appearance. The muscle you can see is peeling off from the overlying fascia, creating a large pool of local anesthetic. The iliosus muscle will be pushed downward and the vessels will be shifted upward following the injection of local anesthetic. For more details on fascia iliaca block, you can click on the I button appearing on the screen. I will also provide the video link in the comment section. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Until then, keep blocking, keep rocking.